Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton. I want to welcome you to the Clark County Museum. What you see going on behind me here today is we're rebuilding the Paiute huts here at the museum. Now, Donna Jolliffe, who was the curator of exhibits here, created these huts many years ago as part of the interpretive plan here at the museum. But one of the things about these huts is they need to be rebuilt every few years. We're now in the process of rebuilding the main hut. This would be the large size, and you, this would have been one that a family might have lived in for the months that they would have used it. Now remember, they would not have stayed in this hut year round. They would have gone back up on the mountain during the summers when it's much too hot to be living here in the valley. We don't understand that, but the Paiutes did. And so what we're doing here is making sure that these huts will be here for the future. All of our volunteers, all of our staff work together to make sure that we have this to show you when you come out to the museum. As you look at this, the green that you see there is a plant called desert broom. It actually grows here on the grounds. The bands, what we kind of call the bendy sticks, those are actually desert willow. And they cut those off when you have long lengths of it. Though they're on the inside and on the outside, they're um, tied together. They use twine at this point. Historically, you would have used some kind of a fiber, um, a, a native plant fiber to tie them together. But by having the desert broom on the outside, having these bands inside and out, it holds it in place. And these will stand up in incredible winds. When we have 40, 50 mile an hour winds, you are not going to see this hut fly across the desert like you might see a tent. This will actually stand up and be here at the other end of, of a windy period like that. So it's a very effective way of building and a relatively quick one. There's about oh, 10, 15 hours in this one so far to get it back to this point. And that's rebuilding the interior of it, the uprights, everything. And yet you can see they're almost done. Does take a lot of time, does take a lot of effort, but it means that we're using the materials here just like the Paiutes would have and creating something to show you how they were able to work with the land before we ever showed up. And we have three different versions of the huts here. When you come out, this one is a, a shorter, more temporary hut. You can see this is covered actually in creosote, which is a more temporary covering. It is not as thick, doesn't keep the wind out as much, but it would provide the shade. We have the small shade shelter here that was very temporary, but kept you out of the sun in the heat of the day. All of these are available. You can walk in when you come out here and see them. And I do hope that you'll come out and visit us. Remember, we are only open seven days a week, 9 to 4.30, and it is $2 a head. I know it's an onerous price, but we hope you can afford it. If you happen to be under 18 or over 55, it's only a dollar. Come on out and see us.